in outer space. Two of the astronauts took a six-hour walk in space. Tethered to the space shuttle Atlantis, they built a 40-foot tower from aluminium bars. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, it was just uh, the right kind of lighting to see you well, and it finally cleared up in Houston, and we were able to do that. This is going to go anywhere. You see two sailors not to the ground, you like to do that. took 56 minutes, 49 minutes faster than scheduled. Sure proof that human beings could build a space station in the 1990s if they chose to do so. And, that... and Jerry Ross have made their second spacewalk to practice building parts of a space station. Operating in the cargo bay of the shuttle Atlantis, the two spent six and a half hours mocking up cabling and building a prototype 45-foot tower and a pyramid of beams. The real thing is planned for the 1990s. Sherwood Spring was able to hold parts of the structure over his head to show how easy they are to handle in weightlessness. He said the job was a piece of cake. Hello again. Astronauts on board the American space shuttle Atlantis have been trying out their skills at building. They've been putting together a huge structure outside the shuttle as practice for building a permanent space station which NASA hopes will be ready by 1992. The crew are now preparing for their return to Earth tomorrow after a very successful mission. Newsround space editor Reg Turnell has been watching the astronauts at work. Much of the time the astronauts worked on the end of the robot arm, 15 metres above the payload bay. And after 12 hours working as space riggers, Sherwood Spring and Jerry Ross decided that building a space station should be quite easy. The foot restraint kept them in exactly the right position for work and almost no tools were needed for their ready-made assembly kit. They had time to practice being electricians too, threading cables through the lattice work of girders. All their work was recorded on video cameras to work out later exactly how long it will take to build the space station as well as for training space riggers to do it. Their only complaint was that clipping and unclipping three meter struts into a 14 meter high tower does make the hands ache. But once done, they demonstrated that one man can easily maneuver the whole thing into exactly the right position. Just how much of this sort of work will be needed can be seen from the tangle of girder work shown in these pictures of what a space station will be like. The girders are needed for joining together living quarters and solar panels and providing docking ports for the space shuttle. This flight has gone so well with no problems to sort out that Columbia is already on the launch pad preparing for the next flight in a fortnight's time. It should land back at the Cape two days before Christmas instead of on Christmas Day. And for once, 5,000 space workers should enjoy Christmas.